What's up YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good and smelling amazing. Today I want to talk to you guys about one of my absolute favorite fragrances on the planet. Bar none, hands down, end of discussion. This is one of my personal favorite fragrances. It may not be everybody's favorite fragrance, but it's definitely mine. We'll use this as a My Two Cents Tuesday, where I kind of give my input on a fragrance that's been out for a while or that has a lot of reviews out already. I just like to come in and throw my two cents on some of these fragrances and I am, again, so excited that I get to talk about, finally talk about one of my absolute favorites in my collection. So, if you guys wanna know my thoughts on my favorite fragrance, one of my favorite fragrances, you know how we do, keep it locked right here. Okay guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this review. The fragrance that I wanna talk about today is from the house of Bond number nine, and I'm talking about none other than New York Oud. New York Oud from Bond number nine. I absolutely love and adore this scent. In my humble opinion, the fragrance house of Bond number nine for various reasons, have taken a lot of slack over the course of the years. Uh, there was some bad uh, press out there about the company one time and its owner. Some people like to talk about the fragrances and the, the being overpriced and not really been really having um, any uh, originality uh, to some of the sense. But you guys know my motto: I don't judge fragrances on what other people say. I mean, sometimes I take it into consideration. I think it's good to hear other people's opinion, but the ultimate opinion that matters, of course, is my own. And I'm a fan of the House of Bond Number no. 9. Their fragrances, for the far most, do very, very well on my skin. That's something that's important to me personally. I get great performance out of a lot of their fragrances, and a lot of them just play really well and mix well with my body chemistry, so I become a fan of the house. Now, I have about, in total, uh, 14 fragrances from Bond Number no. 9, but this, by far, is my favorite. Uh, my second will be um, Bleecker Street, but this is my favorite. What I like about this fragrance is uh, how it's composed. I mean, there's oud in Bond Number no. 9, but it's not a heavy oud. The oud that is in this fragrance is very highly concentrated, though, but the notes in it really blend it. The notes in this really blend well. So it kind of covers up, I guess, to some degree, uh, the oud. You detect oud, but it's more of a lighter variety uh, when it's combined with the notes that are in this. So what you get when it opens up, let me get a spray here. Okay, you definitely get the opening you get that plum there's a red plum uh, on the top of this fragrance and you definitely get that when this when it opens up and honestly the, the plum note really plays really well into the mid of this fragrance it's not for me it's not a top note that dissipates after the first five to ten minutes i can really pick this plum up well into the mid of the fragrance the real players of bond number nine new york oud of course is the oud, the rose, and the saffron. Saffron helps to sustain the plum opening. Now there's also a citrus note listed here, like an orange citrus note, but I don't really pick much of that up. Again, I definitely get the, uh, the, the plum. And like I said, the saffron does a really good job of kind of carrying that plum note uh, from the opening of the fragrance to the mid. Now the saffron uh, in the fragrance, uh, in the heart of this, to me is kind of the glue of the whole thing. So it picks up the plum in the opening, and then when you get to the mid, it picks up the rose note and helps to carry the rose note on into the base and dry down. So the dry down really becomes about the saffron kind of, again, playing the background, but holding the rose in there, and then it's joined by oud and honey. That's really what this fragrance is about, guys. This is a sexy, sexy fragrance right here. Uh, as I said before, Bond Number no. 9 fragrances tend to do really, really well on my skin. So this fragrance lasts for me 8 to 10 hours 
on average. So ultimately I get great performance out of it. It's definitely a unisex fragrance because this is a 3.3 uh, ounce bottle right here, the 100 milliliter. I did have a 50 mil, but my wife wears this all the time and the 50 milliliter bottle is about gone. Um, I went on ahead and gifted that to her. So that is solely hers now. And this one belongs to me. But I'm sure it won't be long at all before she's done with that bottle and helping me to knock this one down as well. This is one of the fragrances I always have in my collection. Uh, I know regular price on this uh, is kind of costly, but you can find this pretty much um, at most discounters around $150, which I think is an awesome value for this fragrance. Again, it performs great. It does well on my skin. I really think Although it's an oud based fragrance, you can really wear this year round. Uh, the way that it's composed, as long as you don't go heavy on the trigger in the summer, I think you can really get away with this year round. It is signature scent worthy. It is definitely, in my humble opinion, a 10 out of 10. I love this fragrance. I will always keep this in my collection. So guys, if you're out there and you have taste that's similar to mine, if you have not tried this, I would recommend you giving it a try because it is the best thing that the House of Bond number no. nine has to offer. Okay guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I know you guys could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos out to people that you think could use this information, or of course, they may find me entertaining. Either way, works for me, because I'm your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good and I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.